In this module, we saw that your tests can have multiple attributes attached to them. And the more descriptive, the better. I always like having a lot of attributes and having a lot of descriptions about my tests. We can then group tests according to attributes. Later on, I'll show you how to filter tests. And we can also deploy files if you need them for specific tests. Up next, assert classes save a lot of time. We'll take a look at some of the different assert classes. We've only seen the one so far, assert, but we're going to take a look at string assert and collection assert. I hope you'll join me for the next module.